You miss Jason Spitz taking his shirt off and doing a belly flop out here. It was great. Next to me, Wade, Jordy Nelson. Jordy, how you doing? Doing great. Jordy, how does it feel to be a Super Bowl champion? It's unbelievable, uh, especially with an organization like the Green Bay Packers. Just be able to put our stamp on the history here, be a part of it, and uh, we'll be remembered forever. I seem to recall you had a pretty big day Sunday. How'd that feel? Uh, it was unbelievable. It's, uh, I don't know how to say. It was great. Um, had a lot of opportunities, tried to make the most of them, and uh, just helped this team win the trophy. Who you got by you there, Wayne? I got the all-pro wide receiver of the Green Bay Packers, two touchdown receptions, Greg Jennings. Woohoo! What was Sunday like for you? Uh, it was unbelievable. Um, obviously, you play this game to get to that stage and to have an opportunity to actually win the game and bring the Lombardi Trophy back here. Uh, it's, it's surreal right now, but these fans deserve it, and we worked hard to get it. You certainly did. And the guy who helped you work through it, the offensive coordinator of the Green Bay Packers, Joe Philbin. Joe, congratulations on a tremendous run. Well, hey, you know, we got a great bunch of guys. Uh, they, ne they never gave up. They always believed in themselves. And, you know, even after that bad game we played in Detroit, they just kept working. Uh, a great group of assistant coaches, our position guys on offense, did a phenomenal job. And Larry, you've got a guy who's been around here almost as long as I have. Actually, he's been around here the same amount of time, 12 years. Introduced us to Donald Driver. You might have heard of him. I love you, Donald. happier about your Super Bowl championship, you or them? I think we both are. We're both excited about this opportunity. You know, the good part about it is we decided that we had to do it. We brought the trophy where it belong. It started here. And look where we at now. We're Super Bowl champ, baby. That's right. Now, you've been around a lot of teams and a lot of teammates. What made this one special? You don't think that it started all season long as guys believe. And when you got guys that can believe that you can accomplish anything, you can do it. And what we did in Dallas was truly amazing. We got the Vince Lombardi Trophy right back at home. Greg Jennings, I want to ask you about this receiver group. You guys, uh, and, and talk a little bit about it. I guess this summer you made a little excursion down to Jordy Nelson's farm and uh, a little bonding for the group. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it was a, it was a great experience, uh, a unique experience, one that I could check off my bucket list. Uh, we, <laughs> we did some strange things down there. My guy James Jones need to get up here right now. He's a huge part of this receiver group. Come on, James, where are you? He's from California, so he's trying to stay by the heat. <laughs> Here he comes. Number 89, James Jones. James Jones. <laughs> what can I say, James? Your man called you out. Yeah, uh, he always does that. But, uh, nah, man, it's a great group of receivers, man. I love playing with them, man. We're very unselfish. And, uh, if we weren't ourselves, we couldn't bring the trophy back home, so I love these guys. Hey, Wayne. One quick word from Donald Driver. Don, what do you guys think of the fans, the support you've gotten this season? Oh, we love you guys so much. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to accomplish the things that we accomplished. You guys cheer us on. The 70,000 fans that's in the stadium every Sunday. The million fans watching on TV. We love you guys. 
Thank you for your support. And guess what? We're Super Bowl champs, baby. Great job. Hold on, offensive line. Offensive line. Oh, hey, you're not getting out of here that easy. <laughs> Wait a second. We got the offensive line. Scotty, come on over. All right. Scotty is the handsomest and the smartest guy because he plays center. Aren't you, Scotty? That's right. That's right. Comes from a long line of centers under that uh, description with yourself, Coach Campin, uh, Jerry Fonda plays center, so a lot of centers there right here. Scotty, how the last couple days been for you celebrating the Super Bowl championship? Uh, it's been exciting. I think I got two hours of sleep in 48 hours, so it was exciting. How did, like, how did you like your offensive performance against the Pittsburgh Steelers? I thought we did a good job. We uh, Aaron did an excellent uh, job out there. We know if we give him time, he can pick any defense apart. Uh, the coaches do an outstanding job of getting us in winning situations with the play call, and I think that uh, our line did an outstanding job protecting him, running the ball effectively enough to, to open up some passes. So we won a championship. That's all that matters. And, Scotty, how great was it to have your family being down there to celebrate your championship with you? Oh, it was huge. It was huge. Uh, it's a memory that I can take with me for the rest of my life. Uh, I, had, I had all three of my kids on the field, my wife. Uh, the press conference, my little boy is about 15 months old, was sticking his finger in my ear, so uh, it, it was exciting. Congratulations to you, Scotty, and the entire Packer offensive line. Congratulations to the offensive line of the Green Bay Packers. Yeah. Well, Larry, he's become kind of a folk hero. Let's hear it. In short yardage. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. They had number 30 up here. John Kuhn, congratulations. Thank you very much. It, it really means a lot to come out here and see all the fans bear the elements on a day like today, on a work day. You guys are still here. You guys are still supporting us. Thank you very much. John, would you say you're a blue collar player, perfect for blue collar fans? Yeah, I'd, I'd say our whole team is. I mean, we, we play up here on Lambeau Field in the frozen tundra. Just like the fans, we're going to come out here and bear it, win some football games, play off football in the cold weather, and we're proud to bring that trophy home to you. John Kuhn began his career with the Pittsburgh Steelers. It must have been special to play the Steelers and beat the Steelers in the Super Bowl. Yes, it did. It, it, it was an incredible feeling, but I, I'll tell you what, it didn't matter who we were playing on Sunday. We were going to win that game and bring that trophy here back to Green Bay. John Coon. John Coon. Coon. All right. When we come back, are you ready for the Super Bowl MVP? Yeah. He's next. Yeah.